Hello everyone, today I'm starting uh, lesson 11.3 from uh, primary math learner book for grade 3, page number 177. So let's start. Estimate uh, the product of 27 multiply 4, record the multiplication. Calculation is a, in a grid and find the product. So estimate 30 multiply 4, 120. Okay, now we have a number 24 multiplied by 7. So first of all, we make uh, in parts 27. 20 here and 7 here multiply by 4. So 20 multiplied by 4 equal 80. And 4 multiplied by 7 equal 28. And plus it. So 108. Like this, we can easily find the answers. Question number 1. 23 multiplied by 4. Same like this, we are making part 20 here and then 3 here. And then need to multiply with 4. As I told you, if we are multiplying with a number which one have 0, so uh, just skip the 0. 2 multiply by 4 equal 8 and then put 0 with it. And uh, 3, multi uh, 3 multiply 4 or 4 multiply 3 equal so plus it then to find the answer. So twenty multiply before eighty and uh, twelve equal ninety-two. So this is our answer. Same like this, we are doing the other questions. Estimate and then find the product for each multiplication. Use the, the grid method. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, 35. 35. So we are making part 30. Multiply by 4. And then 5 multiply by 4. Okay, then we plus it. 30 multiply by 4. 3 multiply by 4. 12. And 0, 5 multiplied by 4, 20. So what is our answer? 20 plus 120. 120 plus 20 equal 140. So this is our answer. Same like this, 58, making part. 50 multiply 3 and then 8 multiply 3 and make them equal 50 multiply by 3 equal uh, 150 or 5 multiply by 3 15 and put 0 and 3 multiply by 8 24 Like this, you can easily find the answer. So 150 plus uh, 58, 58, okay. 150 plus 24, 174. 150 plus 24, we are adding. So 174 is uh, the answer. Same like this, uh, 94. This one we can uh, do without uh, using the same method. We are using another method, 94. Multiply by 2. Just multiply. 4 multiply to 8. And 9 multiply to 18. 188. This is our answer. Let us check using other method. 90 multiply by 2 equal and 4 multiply by 2 equal 90 multiply by 2. 180 and 4 multiply by 2 equal 8. So 180 plus 8, 188. 
Okay, 76 multiply by 5. 70 multiply by 5 equal and 6 multiply by 5 equal. 7 multi 5 multiply by 7, 35, right? And put 0. And 5 multiply by 6, 30. So thir 350 plus 30 equal what? 50 plus 30, 380. Let's move uh, to the next part, 179. Question number three. Choose a number from the table. Spin the spinner to find out whether to divide by two, three, four, or five. Remember to estimate before your calculation. Do this twice. Let us do any two numbers. Other you can do by yourself. Okay. Uh, 87, it's uh, an odd number. So 87 divided by mm, 3. We got the reminder. 87 divided by 3. Equal what? In the table of 3, in the 3 multiply by 10, 33 multiply by uh, 20, 63 multiply by 30, equal 90 we have 87 so 3 multiply by 30 equal 90 so from 90 go back so 3 multiply by 29 equal 87 so let us check is it correct 3 multiply by 30 equal 90 so 9 multiply by 3 27 and uh, 3 multiply, uh, sorry, 3, 9, 3 multiply by 9, 27, 7 down to okay, 3 multiply by 2, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, it's correct. Exactly correct. There is no reminder. Okay, like this we can do the other. Let's do uh, question number 4. Same like this you can find. If there is a reminder, you can write it. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, uh, like this you can write complete answer no reminder if question number four find a number that is less than 100 that can be divided by two three four and five with no reminder this uh, <clears throat> less than 100 this should be a uh, an even number which one easily can divide and by two three four and five which one is uh, 50 or 60. 60 is a number if you divide uh, with the 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there is no reminder because 16, the table of 5 coming, and the table of 4 also. 3 coming, 2 coming, yes, 60. 50 actually not coming in the table of uh, 4. There are 46, we can write here 60. There are 46 tennis uh, balls. Four tennis balls fit into each tube, like this one. How many uh, tubes are needed for 46 balls? Very easy, divide it with four. 46 divided by four <clears throat> to find the answer. So in the table of four, 46 coming, four multiplied by 10, 44, 4 multiply, uh, 4 multiply by 10, 40, 4 multiply 11, 44. No, it's not coming. So 4 multiply by 11, 44. And we have here 46. So there is a reminder of 2. After 44, 45, 46, we have 2 reminders. So it means uh, he needs uh, 11, or you can say 11 or 12 tubes uh, are needed for 46 volt. Let's move to the next page. Question number five. There are 36 uh, marbles in a set. Five children are playing. How many marbles do they need? Do they get each? Show your method. So there are 36 marbles in a set. Five children are playing. So 36 divided by five. 36 divided by five. Okay, so equal what? 
Again, the same method. In the table of uh, 536 coming, no. 5 multiplied by 735. And uh, so there is a reminder, equal 1. So 7 reminder, 1. 7 multiplied by 535 plus 1, 36. Question 6, 10 children uh, can set on each bench, like this one. Okay, how many benches are needed to set? 37. So 37 divided by 10. Equal what? Actually, uh, for one bench, 10 children. So 10 multiplied by 440? No, we need uh, 37. 10 multiplied by 3? And reminder, 7. That's mean uh, 3 and reminder, 7. Or we can say approximately seven, 4 benches they are needed. For 37 children. Question seven, uh, make up uh, a word problem for these uh, division 31 divided by four, seven reminder three, same like this, you can make it 77 divided by three, 25 reminder. These are answer, the question with answer. So you're making a statement like this. How many benches like this? Uh, there are, uh, there are four, four children can sit on uh, each bench. How many benches are needed to set uh, 31? children so like this the question you can make it let's move to the next after this check your progress roll two one two six dice make a two digit number for example i will make it uh, two coming and six coming. multiply your number by three Multiply with 3. Okay, then what is the answer? Very easy. Okay, so, uh, 26 multiply by 3. So we need to make in parts 20 multiply by 3 and uh, equal and 6 multiply by 3. So 20 multiply by 3 equal what? 6 multiply 3, 18, and 20 multiply 3, 60. So 60 plus 18, 60 plus 18 equals 78. Easy. Same like this, uh, the second part. I roll the dice again, and uh, uh, Venkai Venk calculation is 37 divided by 3. 12 reminder 1. What problem could he have been solving? Is 13 uh, the correct answer to the problem? Okay, let's check. Th 3 multiply by 10, 30. 3 multiply 11, 33. 3 multiply by 12, 36. And this 37. So this uh, answer is correct. So we can say it's nearest. Or you can say the nearest one, 13. But 12 is the correct. So we can make uh, the correction of 12, not 30. Let's uh, move to the next question number four. Which division uh, will give the greater answer? How do you know? Question number four. We have here 74 divided by uh, four, 72 divided by four, or 72 divided by three. So four, in the table of four, four multiply by 10, 40, four multiply by 20, it's, uh, it's coming. 80 and 4 multiply by 18 it's 72 and 3 also 3 multiply by 2 6 and 3 20, uh, 24 but actually we are using uh, this one this group why because uh, there will be more groups of 3 in 72 then uh, there will be a uh, group in 4 so this one easy to solve it so which division will give uh, the greater answer this one so we can write here, 72 divided by 3, because there will be more group of 3. 
1572 as compared to the other one. Like this, uh, we finish unit 11. In the next video, we'll start uh, the next unit. Bye-bye.